Okay, um, there have been a lot of discussions out there about sight lines, resultant angles, uh, drilling, uh, all that stuff. Um, I thought I'd give you my quick down and dirty on it. Pete Galbert's got some awesome stuff in his uh, book on it, and there's a lot of other resources on it, but um, oddly enough, doing a bunch of these little live edge stools, benches, um, kind of helped me melt it down to a real simple down and dirty uh, where I could visualize it. Um, but basically, rake, um, is going to be how much the legs are angled out front to back. Splay is the same thing side to side. Um, the two important, real important pieces of information for me is where that let, how far in I want that hole to be drilled, and then where I need it to land out in space at the floor. Um, from a stability standpoint, I want that foot to land just slightly outside of the dimensions of my top, whether it's one of these little benches, whether it's a stool, whether it's a real tall stool. Um, so those angles are gonna change based on height. So really the, the um, point is gonna be that if I'm looking at my pattern from the top, I'm going to see how far in I am and how far out I'm, my, shed, my uh, overhang is. And based on that, I'll be able to measure out and get that distance. And it's a little easier to see um, on these little live edge stools. And you can see here, I made the decision based on grain where I wanted to fall on the color change and then where the dimensions of the top fall on, on these. So that was kind of where I came into it. So I basically came along, measure out to my edge. I decided I wanted to be in four inches. And coming this way, these were falling about three inches in. So that's going to be where I need them to fall on all the corners. And I just, the, these are very free form. But from that, then I will take those two points and I'll go out to the, to the uh, corner. And the corner before I trimmed it was out in here. And it, it came out to about five, five and a half inches, I think. Um, and that became, that's what I need. I know that I have to travel five and a half inches out from the bottom of the hole to where the foot lands. So that's that's really what I'm working with. And those connected points become my sight line for drilling. Um, and then the rake and splay, you know, follow with that. But, and it's the same for these stools. So uh, similarly there, I've got, this stool is 25 inches tall. And I know that I think I was four and a half inches on this. So I'm gonna travel in 25 inches, four and a half inches. And actually, I'm going to be an inch and three quarters below that. So I'm going to be, you know, at uh, 23 and three quarters. I'm going four and a half inches. So anyway, I'll, that's that's the basics of it. And I'll show you, I'll change the camera here. And I'll just show you my real quick uh, way that I figure that out. And um, it's working great. So anyway, all right, thanks. Okay, this is kind of a goofy camera angle, but hopefully it will work. But here's that pattern for that stool, uh, front of the stool, the back of the stool. Um, and again, the numbers that um, ended up on that were four and a half inches. Um, and that was, and I can show you a little more clearly here, there's my four and a half point. And you can see it basically is going to fall just outside those edges. So if somebody stood up, put all their weight on the front or the back or the side, it's not going to um, flip that stool. It's going to be stable. And it was five and a half on the little live edge. So, so there's, uh, there's that. That point connected going back becomes the sight line. And then what I'm looking for is the result in drilling angle. Um, so that's that's how I'm working. Um, so if I've already marked this, and I just always use the steel corner in my bench. It works great. Um, I know I want to be over four and a half. I've put blue tape on here. I don't normally do that. And then five and a half for that little live edge stool. And here's our top right here. So we're going to come down 18 inches. This is the top thickness. So I'm kind of working backwards, 25 inches and 36 inches. So this, this takes away the thickness of the top for me. This is my inch and three quarters. So all I got to do in the case of that um, five and a half that we were using on that live edge stool, and I know I'm coming down to 18 inches, I'll just rest my straight edge there. Come over here, put my uh, little angle bevel finder here on it, line that up. And then uh, if you don't have one of these, it's awesome. This is um, 
uh, eye gauging, which um, it's a center finder on one side, and the other side is the bevel gauge. Um, Highland Hardware has these, so this thing is just absolutely um, worth its weight in gold. And then I'll slide down till I get the angle, and on this one, it's looking like 19 degrees is what it was for that uh, that little live edge bench I showed you. Um, and then, just simple as can be, you just keep doing that for it. In the case of the uh, stools, we're starting at four and a half. We're going down if it was a 25 inch tall stool, and I want to know what to drill that at on my sight line. I'm just going to come in here, line it up, pull the angle off it, and in this case, it's just a little over 11, about 11 and a half degrees. And if I needed to make that a 36 inch tall stool, and I still want that to land in the same place relative to the top. I'm gonna to line up those two points, put it on my four and a half, and you're gonna see the angle comes in on this. And there it is. Line it up on here, and now we're down around nine. So that's that's it, that's, that's how I figure them all out. And, you know, making it real extreme as something gets shorter, that angle is going to come out. It's going to be a steeper angle that you're drilling on that sight line, the resultant angle. So, you know, if you're that little live edge and you want to make a little shorty, you can see that angle is getting steeper, steeper. As this gets taller and taller, then it's going to, uh, the angle is going to, going to be changing. Um, and it's, again, all about getting that drill from the bottom to where it lands on the floor, that point in space. Um, so that's it. All right, thanks. That's uh, that's my simple way of thinking about it. And I know there, there's going to be eight million discussions on it, uh, but I just uh, for me it uh, breaks it down to something simple, and uh, I've uh, I've had great results getting everything to fall where I want. And uh, you know I, I've drawn them beforehand, done the whole thing um, to make sure that my ray can splay or not real extreme because I still aesthetically you want them to look right, um, and also to go into the discussion is there's times where your seat is tilting. Um, not so much in my stools, I typically am not doing that. But if you're doing a chair and stuff, that will come into play. And again, you can just mock that up by pulling a piece of blue tape at the, um, the angle your seat is uh, candid at. So that's about it. Thanks. Take care. Bye.